Yeah, dude, I saw him sneaking up behind it and I just waited. I didn't slow it down. I didn't speed it up Nothing All right, man Can't complain One thing I want to point out real quick is before I even get into the whole video is I fish different days different locations some places fish the same spot but maybe a week or two later just it was all based off the time that I had so if you see me fishing the same spot conditions are different that's why just want to point that out being transparent about where I fished and how I fish and all that kind of stuff so that way no one's like oh man you're doing this or that or whatever transparent on how I how I fished so today America we are trying a new lure called knock and tails lure and I actually had this idea years ago of actually putting a rattle in the tail of a swim bait and this guy's actually done it he's out of texas it's mycoastoutdoors.com and like i said it's called knock and tails and i think he's got about i don't know maybe four or five different colors i think all one size from what i can remember i can put a link in the description of where you can get them and what he has on his site quick shipping i think shipping is like five bucks but i'm not sponsored by this guy i'm just I thought the idea is there and they actually the tail action on them is phenomenal uh, I'm gonna give them a shot all day today and see what kind of fish I can pull out of here the water levels are freaking through the roof right now we've gotten so much rain that the last time I was here I was literally maybe in like a <laughs> half inch to an inch of water going under the bridge behind me and now it's it's up two and a half maybe three feet so but we're gonna give a shot and uh, we're gonna get started with this one. If I had a treble on that, I would have caught those fish. Oh, I take that back. <laughs> Knocking lures knocked one out. Only because I found a school, but that's cool. Knocking lures knocked it out of the park. Heck yeah. All right, so if you know, you probably couldn't see on that, but the one, th the one drawback I've noticed on this lure is if you can't engage the tail, it just flattens out and nothing happens. Like you see that right there? See how it, not now, but if you get it at a spot where like that, how it's kind of flat, see how the tail's kind of going up? I don't know if you can see, but it'll, it'll do that. You really gotta kick it into you gotta kick it into another gear to to get it moving. That's one thing I've noticed. Now what are those? Oh. Holy cow, dude. I think he's in the weeds. Huh. Um, okay. Oh my god, that fish is big. Oh, watch the hook, man. Man, look at that. Oh my gosh. Right at the bottom. Perfect, man. I think that was... Heck yeah. Look at that guy. That's what was jumping around out there, I think. Later, girl. Heck yeah. Man, that was freaking sweet. 
And this color seems to be the one that's been working. I got a couple bites with the white one. Last time I fished with it, but... And even the... Dude. He's trying to get to my drag. Man, this fish is bigger than I thought. Is that a post? Ow, post spawn the owl. Wow, I hope that was all right, girl. Ooh. I don't know what's going on there, but I get you back in the water. Ow. Oh. <sighs> Yo, big girl, man, big girl. Heck yeah. I don't know if she was on a bed. I don't know what was going on there. I think I see some trash. I think I see a purple balloon over there, which doesn't surprise me at all. I can get like right up in here. Man, the crazy thing is I picked up one of these the last time I was here. I don't know if that video ever made the light of day, but hope you enjoyed your birthday. Something stank over here. Holy mackerel. I, I waited. I waited a good. I don't know. That was like three seconds on that. Man, look at the colors on him. That is nuts. Ah, my neck, my neck. Ah, yeah. <laughs> I'm on the board. Yeah. It only took, I don't know how long I've been out here for, but way too long. What is that? It's 9.07. Woohoo. 907 and I got out here like seven. Not the best. Not the best ratio right now. Good old course. All right, wrap it up as a Christmas present. <laughs> Merry Christmas, kids. Even though I don't have any kids, but someone else's kids. Here's a used, played with balloon. That'd be funny. Where'd you get it? I just got out of a lake. Hardy, har, har, har. Pretty a nice one. And that was my second cast. I have a scar up on his top of his shoulders there. He just came up and literally gobble that thing. Woo! Look at that. Heck yeah. He he literally like as soon as I got it right here, I just let it sit there for a second for some reason. Log just kind of swim up to it and he just freaking gobbled it up. <laughs> Man, I wasn't even sure. Whoa. Hey. Oh. Easy, buddy. Hardy little dude. Hardy little guy. He is thick. I was like a little cannonball. Bingo. So this is what the packaging looks like on the knock and tail lures. And I got three different colors. Basically like a black and silver. 
or gold flakes, chartreuse tail, and then kind of green with the silver bottom with silver flakes, red flakes, chartreuse tails as well, and then more of a pearl with silver flakes. Now, I think he's got other colors, but those are the three that pretty much cover every every kind of fishing style I do, whether it's fresh or salt. So, and they, and they work well. The rattle's real subtle. I mean, you can hear it, but it's it's real, real subtle. But they so far, I mean, they've, they've worked really, really good. I've taken them on two trips so far, and I've, um, I don't know, maybe eight, seven, eight bass. I haven't used them on saltwater yet. And I'm, you know, I'm not sponsored by the guy or getting any kind of kickback for that. But I, I think he did a good job on the lures. And I also forgot to mention he's got the little hook keeper on the top part of the bait, which I think is good too. I know it's really simple, but it helps you line up the hook so it's centered so it doesn't swim all, all kind of crazy things. Fish over there. But yeah, I'm going to keep putting it through the paces for the rest of the day and kind of see what I end up with. Dude, you're bigger than I thought. I say that way too much. Adios, little man. You got a little belly too. <laughs> Knocking tails. Knocking tails. Knocking tails. Good bass. Oh. Holy moly. <laughs> Holy moly. That's a really nice bass. Three to four? I may, may, maybe five. <laughs> Three to four to five. Which one is it? I don't know. Ow, dude. It's Doing work, baby. Yee-hoo! Alright, so I'm going to end this video just on a couple things that I've noticed having this lure long enough to give some feedback on the lure itself. So the, the biggest, the two biggest things that I've noticed is you just got to make sure when you put this in the package that you don't put it, I mean, this is kind of common sense with any kind of salt plastic, is just be careful when you put it in, you know, don't put it back in the package like this or in any kind of weird positions that's gonna kind of compromise the, the straightness of the tail because you can tell even on this one, see how the tail's getting a little bit crooked. You just gotta be careful when you put it in there. Put it in there the best you can. And the other thing I've done is I've actually added a treble hook. I don't know if you can see that, but it's a size six. And then you could probably go up to a size four if you really, really wanted to, but it, it's kind of big. I'd stay with a size six, maybe try a size four. So that's one thing I've done to modify it. And I put a little rubber stopper so I can kind of adjust where I want that hook to kind of, where I want to sit if I don't want it to get too far up in the body, or obviously if I want to go you know, closer to the body. The reason I did that is because, I mean, I've been fishing most of the time with this bait in fresh water, and I haven't really had this issue. But when I was fishing salt water, which I've done probably 30% of the time, and fresh water 70% of the time, is I was getting a lot of trout that were coming up from underneath. And before I put the treble hook on, they just, they weren't wrapping around the hook. You know, they'd get the tail, they get the back part of the body, but they just weren't getting around the hook. So I was like, you know what, I need to fix that. So yeah, I just threw the treble hook on the back and kind of solved that problem. So now my hook ratio, uh, and catch ratio obviously has gone up quite a bit. So those are the only things that you really need to think about when you use this lure. Oh yeah, and the other thing, one more thing. The hook, this is I think a 4.0, 
owner twist lock hook. And what you gotta be mindful of is I don't think they make a quarter ounce weight on this. I think the only thing they make is a 408 ounce. And that's, that's kind of the drawback with this lure is it needs a heavier weight. When the swim bait goes down, it just kind of, it just does, just, it just does this. The tail just slowly, just, it kind of, it, it moves, but it doesn't fully, doesn't flutter. So that's a little bit of a drawback. And then the other thing is if you're swimming, let's say if it's cold out and you have a slow retrieval rate, the tail won't flutter. So you gotta, you gotta find that sweet spot of just not going too slow and Obviously, the faster you go, it's the the tail is going to flutter. But you got to find that spot where if you go too slow, the tail is basically just going to it's just going to do this. It's going to have no natural kick in the tail. So you got to be mindful of that. And that's that's the one thing, especially when I was fishing around lily pads and stuff, because I don't want to rip it through there. I want to kind of slow it down. And a couple times, and you saw in this video where when I slowed it down, I got it right by the kayak. The, you know, the swim bait is just kind of doing this and not you know the tail's not fluttering. So. Just something to think about. And like I said, I think just getting the right weight is definitely gonna help you, you know, if you're doing a lot of jigging and stuff like that, it'll it'll help the bait sink faster. But but they're good baits. Give them a shot and mycoastoutdoors.com. And I think his shipping's pretty cheap, man. It's like five bucks and he makes other other lures as well. But I'm happy with them. I, I bought what three packs and yeah, they're lasting me a while. Check them out. Knocking tails. Mm -hmm.